this is neha welcome back again to my channel science and history and uh, as my previous video was on discussion and a brief introduction of freshwater ecology my this video is all about study of atlantic ecosystem in details Atlantic ecosystem. Atlantic ecosystems are standing still or stagnant water bodies. These are formed usually in large or small depressions formed on Earth's surface where water is trapped and has no exit flow. Some of examples of Atlantic ecosystems are lakes, ponds, dams, etc. They are formed by glacial activity, tectonic activity, erosion, or some of them are man-made. Now coming on classification of Atlantic water bodies. Generally, the clearer the water in the lake, the fewer nutrients it has. Lakes that are very much nutrient rich are cloudy and hard to see through. This include lakes that are unhealthy because they have too many nutrients. Lakes needs to have a balance of nutrients. Lake can also be classified by how the water mixes. Uh, now coming on types. Oligotrophic. Oligotrophy or eutrophy of a lake is determined by various factors that control the concentration of the nutrients in the open water where the plant lives. These are deeper with hypolimnion, larger than epilimnion, and have low primary productivity. These water bodies are newer, colder, deeper water that are low in life and relatively unproductive. Our second tropic level type is eutrophic. The fertility of the lakes is set by concentration of the dissolved nutrients. The concentration of the nutrients can change with the season. Littoral vegetation is more evident. Plankton population are denser and pup blooms are characteristics. These are older, warmer, silver waters that are high in life and highly productive. Mesotropic are somewhere found lake that comes between oligotropy and eutrophic types. Nutrient cycle. Nutrients enters the lake by rapid descent to mud. The fate of the nutrient reaching the mud depends on the redox potential of the mud. That is whether the mud is in contact with oxidized water or reduced water. Nutrient cycle in oligotropic lake. Nutrients entering from water sets are taken up by the plants which are then passed through the food chains or back to the water through herbivory and death. Nutrient cycle in eutrophic lake. Nutrient inputs are larger enough in fertile lake. Fertile lakes have a nutrient retrieval and feedback mechanism which is absent in oligotropic lakes. Coming on physical properties, Atlantic water bodies exhibits depth, surface area, light, temperature, inputs and outputs, altitude, longitude and latitude. Now coming on physical characteristics of lakes that are absorption of light, temperature, density and stratification. Jones relating depth with light. Photic zone. Upper photic zone is a layer where light is sufficient for photosynthesis. Das photic zone. Light is too weak for photosynthesis. A photic zone. No light. Eutrophic zone. Has photosynthetic phytoplankton, zooplankton that graze on phytoplankton and small fishes which feed on the zooplankton. Picture representing zone. Now let's talk about zonation in Atlantic system. The bodies like ponds and lakes have mainly four zones. Littoral zone, limnitic zone, profundal zone and benthic zone. Now characteristics of Atlantic ecosystem. The physical chemical environment in Atlantic aquatic system is remarkable due to the absence of flow of water. Some important feature of Atlantic water bodies are stability in the physical chemical characteristics of water quality, impact of seasonal change, impact of area versus volume water assessment or productivity. Atlantic systems are closed systems, thermal and nutritional stratifications. Lake stratification. It is the separation of lake into three layers, epilimnion, metalimnion, and hypolimnion. Stratification develops mainly due to following reasons, seasonal change, light,
decomposition of mineralization of organic matter, atmospheric temperature and air circulation, and density gradient of water. Now complete mixing of water occurs. When a water body having temperature above 4 degrees Celsius cools up to 4 degrees Celsius, or when a water body having temperature below 4 degrees Celsius is heated up to 4 degrees Celsius. Now here are some pictures that represent lentic ecosystem. So after a detailed study of lentic ecosystem, our next topic will be study of lotic ecosystem. Till then stay safe, stay tuned, take care and keep subscribing. Thank you.